They were always going to land somewhere, and I doubt if they were short on offers. So, but this particular move did surprise me because personally I thought it was going to be Netflix, but they've shown up here, and um, I think that they've got a, a, a fantastic opportunity. How big an opportunity do you think it is, though? Because it's kind of untested, as we heard from there. We don't really know how many people are going to watch this programme. It's not got a track record like Netflix has. And these are big personalities. You know, they've got big careers. They're very established. And they will want not just the cash, but they'll want people to watch. Absolutely. But I imagine the people at Amazon have done their numbers as well, thinking, right, they've obviously made a significant investment to get them and to, to make sure that this show is theirs. So they know their demographics. They know how they're going to get more viewers or more subscribers into that. So that's the business side of it. The thing that we need to also consider, really, is that previously we've had Top Gear, BBC, in about 215 different countries. But that's been with Jeremy and James and Richard. Well, without that, are they going to still subscribe to Top Gear in those territories? So I wonder if there might be a hole that this new show fills in lots of other places. In the UK, I think Chris's new BBC Top Gear will, on figures, beat the new show that's on Amazon. But globally, I think that's where the play is. I want to ask you a bit more about the new Top Gear show in just a moment, but, but sticking with the old Top Gear, the, the old team at least, do you think that it was inevitable the three stay together? It wasn't inevitable. I think it's highly commendable that they did. Um, obviously, Jeremy tripped up pretty badly. Um, but the other two said, no, OK, we're staying with him. Or, or, or did they realise that actually there was no future without him? They came as a package, <laughs> not at all. Yeah, but, but maybe. I'm not inside their head. Maybe, maybe. But I, Jeremy is a, you know, he's a creative genius and he knows his stuff. So, and they do get on well. And that thing that everybody keeps talking about, that chemistry, that, that's the key. That, I mean, nothing's changed about Top Gear when it goes on Amazon, except it's not Top Gear. Well, that's what I want to ask you. It will have to change, though, won't it? Or will the original Top Gear have to change? Is there room in the market for two identical shows? I, I imagine not. I think they should call the new one Web Gear, something like that. Yeah, but that's the, a good one. Thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to patent it. <laughs> but with Chris's show, I mean, he's obviously massively talented. We all know that. He'll do something to shake it up. I think he said before they're going to try and retain some of the DNA of the existing Top Gear we're used to, but be prepared for what? I mean, he, he does bring surprises. All of, That's why he is who he is. So I think we're actually gifted with two great TV shows coming up. Well, I hope so, anyway. Because Clarkson's got his old producer from Top Gear, hasn't sure. he? So they're going to have a job on their hands making something new because they are, you know, they've been doing this for so long. They've kind of got to reinvent the wheel, haven't they? This is what I've always been um, impressed about, is that talking about cars every single week and trying to find something new about it to engage audiences. But I deeply suspect that we've heard before that there's going to be maybe more creative freedom with the new show. Uh, I think Andy Wilman has also let slip that maybe they want to actually make it more about cars as well, rather than just staying on the messing around stuff, is that we might get more on the actual cars themselves. But you've got to be careful. There's only so many ways you can describe an alternator mm. before you fall asleep. Quite. So which one would you watch? Huh. Or will you be watching? Well, I'm not signed up to the other one at the moment, so I, it's you know, BBC is a lot easier you? for me to get. Would it tempt you to sign up to Amazon? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, to be completely honest, I actually prefer driving to watching TV.